Now we are going to see three different opinions about what the predetermines the organizational structure when we care about some technology and the first was made by the Joan Woodward and it basically cares about the complexity. So to begin with uh, it is important or the most important from this theory to remember what does it mean the, the term the program technology. So programmed programmed technology and this this term is I think uh, fairly intuitive and it tells us uh, that uh, this kind of technology which is perfectly programmed can be specified in advance so specified specified in advance so that we really know what we are going to produce and we really understand it that there is not going to be something unexpected next uh, that thanks to this it can be standardized so standardized standardized and finally thanks to all these two facts this this our technology or these our products can be really predictable so predictable predictable and now we are going to second term which is uh, really interlinked with the program technology and it is the notion of the complexity so technical technical complexity complexity and this tells us the extent so extent of all the above mentioned points so this if, if whether the task is uh, complex we are measuring all these points is our product predictable is it standardized and can we specify it in, in advance so now we can bring uh, some sort of uh, scalability and, and sort of a scale from the complexity and here we can begin with uh, low technical complexity so low and on the other hand we will have high so high and we can connect these two points and have a nice bipolar line again and this theory of Joan Woodward tells us that there are, there are three categories. There are ten levels and these are divided into three categories but I think it's enough if you remember the, the categories. So we begin with this small batch and unit production. So small batch and unit production. Unit production. The secondly, we are moving to the large batch and mass production. So large batch and mass production. Mass production. And finally, we will get to the continuous process production. And this is the, maybe the most interesting one. So continuous, continuous process production. Process production. So we can begin with the most simple one and that is the small batch production. Here we are going to produce uh, mostly one of a kind products. So here we have one of a kind. Just imagine the most simple you can imagine is going to be plumber. So plumber. When he comes to some place, to some home, uh, he always will create something one of a kind because every home is different so every of his tasks is going to be different so what to remember here is that the the tasks and the products are going to be customized for individual customers so customized customized for individual customers customers and so we can actually have wide range of products so wide range of products. On the other hand, or what is the disadvantage of course, is that it is very expensive, but we are we are flexible and that is our our competitive advantage. So I will write it. Here we are very flexible. So flexible. Okay, we can continue with the large batch and the mass production. Here we are going to have all those things uh, in a large factories and companies you can imagine. So massive volumes of standardized product. Massive volumes and standardized product. Standardized product. 
so that the biggest advantage we are going to have here is that we can save money on production so save costs save costs and and this is i think very easy uh, that thanks to that we can save costs we can have lower price for our product i will i will rather write it so lower price lower price and now we are moving uh, to the most interesting one and that is the continuous process production what you can imagine here and is very intuitive just imagine the companies that are maybe producing some oil or some chemicals so oil based oil based or some chemical products chemical products the the most um, important for a factory or a producer that is using the continuous process production is that his factory will just rarely stop so rarely stops because that is very very expensive for him and the the idea behind the whole business is that our production is very smooth so smoothness 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 and thanks to that that we are very smooth we are actually even more technically efficient than we were in the large large batch production so we are more more efficient or we can say that here we are maximally this is the maximum efficiency we can get to so this was the first idea of of uh, the john woodward and the the begin with or the most important point is the notion of the program technology thanks to understanding of this we can understand what does it mean the complexity that that is the extent of the program technology and we have got the line from the low technical complexity to the high 